Is Staten Island a nice place to live? This is a question that has been curiosity for many people who are considering moving somewhere in New York City and overlooking Staten Island altogether. We have a unique blend of suburban and urban accessibilities. Because of that, we are a very compelling choice for the ones who are seeking to have a balance between the city life and the more relaxed environment. Today, I'm excited to take you along with me so that you can see for yourself and decide if Staten Island is a nice place to live or not. So let's get right into it. We're going to St. George and Tompkinsville neighborhood, but mostly, do you know why I'm excited? Because I'm going to show you and take you to a glimpse into the lifestyles that Staten Island can provide, especially if you decide that New York City is way more expensive but you want a luxury living experience with a fraction of the price. The gated community, the condo and co-op community we are visiting today is Bay Street Lending and it offers a blend of amenities to die for. It's peaceful surroundings, charm and convenience. I promise you, once you hear all about it, you are going to be in love with this place just like I am. So first is, let me tell you why it's so cool to live in St. George and Tompkinsville neighborhood. If you're into cultural adversity, you will absolutely be thrilled with a variety of the local ethnic restaurants, the area of local shops, and the community events that are happening here. It really brings a unique vibrancy and a multitude of cultural experiences to residents and even visitors and the proximity to Manhattan is one of the most beautiful. Seriously, the best. We have access to Manhattan via the Staten Island Ferry, which is free by the way. You can travel to work, entertainment, lifetime, and you don't need to worry about parking in the city or driving in traffic. Ugh. The ferry ride itself is dreamy. You get to see the gorgeous views of Manhattan skyline, the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, and floating on water experiencing the ever-changing beautiful sky. Oh gosh. And if you enjoy green spaces, St. George and Tompkinsville is home to several parks, including the St. George Park, which is very lovely. It offers a peaceful retreat of lush greenery, walking paths, and recreational facilities. And if you are a nature lover like I am, you can relax and connect with nature. Not to mention the presence of these parks all over Staten Island really contributes to the overall health of the entire area, offering habitats for the local wildlife on Staten Island. And then if you love history and architecture, the area is rich with landmarks and neighborhood historical buildings. And if you're not familiar with the St. George Theater, you absolutely must go and visit. The St. George Theater provides entertainment and also provides platforms for local artists and musicians to showcase their talents. They also host art exhibitions, concert, performances, so there's always something culturally enriched to do in fostering a community that values and supports artistic expressions. In the recent years, the business and retail has been growing and it's been adding convenience and vibrancy to the neighborhood. There's new shops and restaurants opening, providing residents of St. George and Tompkinsville with an increasing amenities literally almost right in their backyard. And now, Let's get to the exciting part of this video today. Let's check out my favorite, luxurious, very unique, gated community Bay Street Lending. First of all, I have to tell you about all the amenities in this gated community, and then I will tell you about the various layout styles these condominium and cooperative buildings offer. Let's start with the building at 10 Bay Street Lending. This is a cooperative building. This building was built in 1982. It has 128 apartment units and they're all spread out through a nine stories in this building. The community features recreational facilities like a children's playground, a package room, available parking, a virtual doorman, and there are gardens and terraces. And for the fitness enthusiastic, there's also a gym. By the way, 
The Bay Street Landing location is situated on 13 acres of gated waterfront community. And it's literally only steps away from the Staten Island Ferry and the New York City Waterway Fast Ferry. So it's providing access to other parts of New York City as well. In this community, there's also a 24 hour security and there's a tennis and pickleball courts, barbecue area, great lawn, and there's absolutely no through traffic. You can expect to find various styles of apartments like a studio, a loft duplex, and one bedroom unit, and then the 180 degrees waterfront views in some of the apartments as well. Now let's check in with 20 Bay Street Landing. This building was built in 1984 with also 128 units and nine floors. And you can find various styles with various square footage ranging from 1200 square feet to over 1500 square feet. And then you'll find a row of two story Bay Street Landing, like the 30 Bay Street Landing, 36 Bay Street Landing, 40 Bay Street Landing, 42 Bay Street Landing. And the apartment units within these buildings are absolutely unique in their style and layout and before I tell you which building is my favorite one because I'm gonna keep it to the end I'm going to share about 80 Bay Street landing which is a condominium building now keep in mind that all of these buildings inside of Bay Street landing gated community share all outside amenities which is also amazing i totally forgot to tell you about it it's gorgeous it's right along the water and then people who live in these buildings they take the promenade and get themselves right to the ferry within minutes okay so 80 bay street landing this building is known for its spacious units and the stunning views. The units at 80 Bay Street Landing are very different in size, even the layout. Some offer one bedroom with one and a half baths, some offer two bedrooms and two baths, and it could be like spread out through almost 1,500 square feet of living space. The building itself was built in 1985 and it has 131 units and 10 floors. What do you think are the things that this building stands out for is its location and the views that it offers. Some of the units also have oversized windows. And if you are looking at a unit with the Southeast exposure, and then you would be looking at unobstructed views of the New York Harbor and the Verrazano Bridge. Oh, and I forgot to mention that many of the units also have terraces and balconies. Oh, and let me tell you about some of the schools like PS74, which is an elementary school and the Fourth Hill Collaborative Elementary School. Oh, and there's more parks. There's the Tompkinsville Park and the park at Triangle. And in case I missed to tell you before, the Staten Island Ferry is only 0.3 miles away. And right before you enter into the Bay Street Landing private gated community, there is the Staten Island train station, which is only one stop away from the Staten Island Ferry. If you haven't fallen in love with Bay Street Landing Gated Community yet, wait, you won't be able to resist it when you find out about the building at 90 Bay Street Landing. Are you ready to be wowed? 90 Bay Street Landing, they even gave it a name. It's known as the Accolade. This building is a prestigious condominium complex. The apartment here is Manhattan style and it has all the luxurious amenities. This building was built in 2013 and it's very modern. It has 100 units of condominiums and it has 10 floors. The cool thing about this building that it's positioned on a prime waterfront location and the views, they are just stunning. And you can see the Manhattan skyline and the New York Harbor. At the accolades, the size and layout of the condominiums apartments vary from one to another and really caters to different needs, tastes, and lifestyle. For example, you would find apartments with three bedrooms and two and a half baths, that's like over 2,000 square feet. You will find a two bedroom and two bathroom apartment that's almost 1,700 square feet. You can find a studio apartment that's like 
a little over 700 square feet. All the apartments have high ceilings and oversized windows and modern finishes. Many of the apartments in this building also include private outdoor space like balconies or terraces. When living in this building, residents have access to a children's playground, there's a gym, there's a media room, there's a community recreational facility. Oh my God, if you would have seen that, you would fall in love with it. This building does have a living super and parking available and it's absolutely beautiful. The staff is amazing. The front desk people are so kind and welcoming. So you get a 24 hour, get a community security, and you also get a full-time doorman. I wish I could show you some of the interior photos of the different styles of apartments here, but unfortunately I'm not able to do so at this moment. But you gotta know this, that this building, the Accolade at 90 Bay Street Landing, really, it stands out as a luxury living on Staten Island. I haven't seen anything like that. So I'm telling you, you probably won't even know that this gated community is even in existence unless you happen to come across a realtor who's going to show you and take you in there. And really, if you are someone who is thinking about buying a condominium or a cooperative apartment in Manhattan and you came to the understanding in terms of that Manhattan is way too much money. I am telling you, you must come and check these apartments out here. You will absolutely fall in love with the luxury, the location, the tranquility of the waterfront living and the conveniences of city life. Put that on your bucket list. It's clear that specifically through the lens of Bay Street Landing gated community, this borough is more than just a nice place to live. It's a lifestyle and a community all rolled into one. You have the luxurious ambience of the accolades at 90 Bay Street Landing with its stunning waterfront views of Manhattan style living to the tranquil atmosphere of the Bay Street Landing area. And you can imagine yourself enjoying the panoramic views of the New York Harbor. This is the essence of living in Staten Island. It's a perfect balance of relaxation and excitement where every day feels like a slice of something extraordinary. Staten Island isn't just a nice place to live and it's a place where life is enriched by its surroundings. And if you're lucky enough to call Bay Street Landing your home, it's not just a location, it really is a destination and it's a heaven in the heart of the city. And so what's your opinion about Staten Island? Let me know here in the comments. Remember to subscribe, like this video, and I'm excited to show you what's next. Thank you for watching.